Hello guys, my name is James Contrast and in this video I'm going to show you the new features you get with the latest update of Lightroom and Photoshop for the iPad. Let's go! So in Lightroom it is now possible to send your photos directly to Photoshop after you have done all your raw edits like you normally do. Just tap on the share button and there you have a new button called edit in Photoshop. Just tap it once and you're brought to Photoshop and the raw file gets opened immediately and you're able to use all of your common tools from Photoshop. So let's just make my sign right here and vice versa. You have a new button on the top left corner where you can send it back to Lightroom. Tap it once and a new file gets created with all the layers and this file gets sent to Lightroom. There you go. Just received a new document, open it and ready to make your raw edits again. The second feature I want to show you in Lightroom is my personal favorite and it's called versions. So with versions it is possible to make different edits and easily switch between them without creating a new copy of the image. All you have to do is just make your edits. So let's say make this really really bright and with strong contrast lower the blacks. Let's raise the whites here. Just a quick edit that really stands out like this one horrible edit by the way just go back to the versions tap on create version and let's type in horrible version create and there you go here you can see the new version which I just created and if I want to go back to the original, just have to tap on it and I can tap on apply if I want to have this edit back in my main edit section. Now the third and last feature I want to show you is the share edit feature, which you can find in the share menu. It is now possible to share your edits, give them a name. Let's call this dark house for now. You can add a description and also add categories like landscape and maybe nature would work here. You can include the location info or exclude it and enable or disable the possibility to save your edits as a preset for the other people in the community. So if you're done with the description just tap on the tick and your edit gets submitted. There you go, your edit is live. Now you can also share it to your social media or copy the link. If you're good with that, just tap on OK. And there you have your community tab. I already created my very first picture earlier. And you can also edit your about section and it is possible to add your social media to it. In order to edit your personal profile, just have to tap on the top right corner on the pencil and you will be led to the browser into the Lightroom profile section where you can upload an image for your profile, change your name, location, add the social media I mentioned before and even can upload a background image and write something about you. If you're happy with that, just tap on save. Well guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment down below, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more free content like this. And I shall see you, no, I will see you in the next video.